Hey there, my name is Kenneth Wong and I'm a manifestation and mindset coach. If you've landed here, I know that you have a deep desire to manifest a specific person into your life. Perhaps you've been trying different techniques, but none of them seem to be working. Or maybe you manifested small movements like a text message and you really want to take it to the next level. Or maybe, you know, you manifested contact with them, but then they ended up ghosting you again. Whatever your circumstance is, you've come to the right place. In this training, I'm going to show you exactly where you are going wrong with your manifestation so you can manifest your specific person back and keep them for good. And make sure you stay till the very end of this training because I got a very special offer for you that you don't want to miss out on. So before we get into how you can manifest your person back, let me share with you my own experience and my struggles with dating and how I manifested my person back. For all of you out there who are in so much pain and heartbreak and missing your person right now, I totally understand how you feel. I get it because I was there once. For years, I was stuck in a negative cycle where all of my relationships would seem to end after the two to three month mark. And it freaking hurts when the person you thought was the one leaves you. But when I truly understood how to manifest using your subconscious mind a few years ago, everything shifted. I realized that, you know, I'm not unlucky and I'm not cursed. That all I need to do is to simply reprogram my subconscious mind so that I can manifest an outcome that I wanted. An outcome that actually served me. You see, the beliefs in your subconscious mind are what is creating your reality. So what that means is that all of the heartbreaks, all of the breakups that I experienced were simply a product, a manifestation of my old programming. And the moment that I became brave enough to take responsibility for my own belief system, that's when everything shifted. When my last relationship ended, instead of panicking and you know going, oh, there you go again, I calmed myself down and I reached for my manifestation techniques in my toolbox. Because at that point, I understood how the subconscious mind works and I was determined to get my specific person back no matter what. I committed to my practice and I grounded myself in the belief that my manifestation was already done. That circumstances does not and will not matter. That I have the power to shift my assumptions, to shift my beliefs and therefore shift my reality. And at that point, my friends were all trying to convince me to, you know, just move on and get on the dating app and meet someone new. But I was committed to my vision and I was committed to my practice and I knew that as long as I can anchor that belief into my subconscious mind, I'm going to get what I want. And then just four weeks later, we got back together and we are still together to this very day. For the past few years, I have coached hundreds of clients on how to manifest their person back and my clients have seen amazing success. From manifesting a text message after months of no contact to manifesting a full-blown marriage proposal, I have seen radical transformations in all my clients' lives. Whether you're from the United States or from India, this system transcends all cultural barriers. And this system really works if you commit to it. Now, from working with my clients, I've realized that there are five major mistakes that people make when manifesting their specific person. And yes, everyone's circumstance and situations are different, but I've worked with hundreds of people and these are the top five areas that block people from manifesting their specific person back. So that's why I created this training so I can discuss them with you so you can identify what needs to change. Because guess what? You can't change something unless you know what needs to be changed. A lot of my clients think they know how manifestation works, but after working together, they often realize that, you know, the stuff that they're learning on social media and on YouTube are too surface level. There's too much noise and too much information on social media. So what ends up happening is that they waste all these times trying different techniques and following different people's advice and then they end up with nothing to show for it. So before we get into the top five mistakes that people make when manifesting their specific person, let's go back to basics and discuss what manifestation is. There are so many definitions of manifesting out there, but I like to keep things really simple. To me, manifesting simply means turning a desire in your mind into your physical reality. Yep, that's all there is to it. 
whenever something goes from here to out here, that's manifestation. But the more important question is how? How do you manifest things? How do you deliberately manifest things that you desire? Well, it's actually super simple. It all comes down to this one sentence. Your beliefs create your reality. Whatever you think about dominantly, AKA you believe in, is what you will manifest. You see, your reality is simply a mirror reflecting back to you what you believe to be true. And this applies to everything in your life, including your money, your career, and yes, your relationship with your specific person. Every single area of your life is a direct reflection of your beliefs. But here's the thing though, if you don't like the reflection on the mirror, it's not the mirror's fault. The mirror, which is your reality, it's simply doing its job of reflecting back to you what you believe to be true. So what this means is that if you want to change your reality, if you want to shift to a reality that you actually desire, you have to start by changing your beliefs. So if you're currently in a reality where you're not with your specific person, that's simply a reflection of your beliefs. So what you need to do is to take responsibility for your belief systems. The moment you take responsibility and say, yes, I created this for myself. That's when you get your power back. That's when you can decide to shift your belief systems and shift your reality. So let me illustrate how this works using a diagram. So here we have two sections. The top section is your current reality, the reality where you are not with your specific person. This reality is created by your current beliefs. The bottom is your new reality, the reality where you are with your specific person, which is the reality we want to get into. If your current beliefs are creating your current reality where you're not with your person, what must you believe in in order to create a new reality where you are with that person. Okay, so with this new understanding, you might be thinking, well, that's easy, right? All I need to do is to create the new beliefs that are required for me to manifest my new reality. Simple, right? Well, there's one more thing you need to know. Beliefs are stored in your subconscious mind. So in order to change your beliefs, you have to change them on a subconscious level. So this is why it's really important that you learn how to work with the subconscious mind when manifesting. You see, the subconscious mind works differently than your conscious mind. As the name suggests, the subconscious mind is one level beneath the conscious mind and it behaves with its own set of rules. So if you want to create those new beliefs, you have to learn how you can communicate and work with the subconscious mind to get it on board with your manifestation. When it comes to manifesting, there are six rules of the subconscious mind that you need to be aware of. Rule number one is the subconscious mind accepts everything you tell it as true. Your subconscious mind doesn't care if what you're telling it is true, false, good, bad, healthy, unhealthy. It doesn't care. It accepts and acts on your words regardless. This is why someone who's really beautiful can convince themselves that they're not pretty enough because your subconscious mind accepts everything you tell it as true, regardless if it's actually true or not. I know this sounds kind of scary, but at the same time, you can take advantage of this. By telling your subconscious mind stories of how you want your life to be, it will accept it as true. And once that story turns into a belief, that will manifest into your life. Rule number two is the subconscious mind learns through repetition. So in order for your subconscious mind to form a belief, it must be repeated over and over and over again. This is why repetition is such a big part of manifesting. Whether you're doing affirmations or you're doing visualization, you have to repeat it over and over and over again until you convince your subconscious mind that this new story, the story where you are with your person is true and that's how you harden that story into a belief and that's how you manifest your new reality. Rule number three is the subconscious mind is very responsive to imagery and emotions. And this is why visualizing your desire and feeling it as real is so important to manifesting. When you see your desire and you feel your desire as real, you communicate with your subconscious mind and that's how you anchor those new beliefs into your subconscious mind 
and allow you to manifest the reality that you desire. Rule number four is the subconscious mind loves what is familiar. Your subconscious mind is hardwired to resist what is unfamiliar and to return to what is familiar. So what this means is that you're going to have to push through that resistance in order to create new beliefs in your subconscious mind. This rule messes up a lot of people because people start to run when they start to feel that resistance come up. They're like, oh my God, this is too hard. This is too difficult. This is too much work. And they give up just before they successfully rewire their subconscious mind to create those new beliefs. So the lesson here is don't be that person. But if you're watching this training right now, I know that you are 100% committed to your transformation. Rule number five is the subconscious mind cannot hold conflicting beliefs. They cancel each other out. This is the rule that so many people don't know about when manifesting. People come to me all the time and they're like, you know, I've done all the work. I've done the affirmations. I've done the visualization. Where is my specific person? And my answer is always, you know, if you've done all the work, then that can only mean one thing. You have limiting beliefs. You see, because the subconscious mind cannot hold conflicting beliefs, limiting beliefs actually cancel out all of the positive beliefs that you're trying to build. Someone can affirm, you know, I have a loving relationship with my person all day long, but if they have a limiting belief like, I'm not good enough for a relationship, then they're never going to get their manifestation because those beliefs cancel each other out. And the final rule of the subconscious mind is you make your beliefs and then the universe reflects those beliefs back to you like a mirror. This rule sums up the manifestation process in one sentence. The universe and everything in your life, including the people, are simply a reflection of your beliefs. This is where that saying, everyone is you pushed out came from, because it's absolutely true. Everyone in your life, including your specific person, is simply your beliefs pushed out. Whatever you believe to be true about them is what you will manifest in your life. Now, the good news here is that you have 100% control over your beliefs. Now, you may not have had control when you were a little kid, but now, as a full-grown adult, you have 100% control over what you choose to believe in, and therefore, what you manifest. You have the ability to choose new thoughts and create new beliefs. You have the ability to transcend your old beliefs and reprogram your subconscious mind with the new beliefs that are required for you to create your ideal reality. You have the ability to manifest anything you want in your life, including your specific person. And it all starts by shifting your beliefs. So putting everything we learned together, here is a quick summary of how to manifest in three steps. Step one is to define your ideal reality because you can't manifest your ideal relationship with your specific person if you don't know what that reality looks like. Step two is to create the new beliefs in your subconscious mind that are required for you to manifest that new reality. Once you have defined the ideal reality you want to call into your life, that's when you can work backwards and find out all of the beliefs that are required to make that reality true. Remember, your reality is a direct reflection of what you believe to be true. You want to create that ideal reality, you must cultivate the beliefs that are required for you to experience that new reality. Step number three is to persist in those new beliefs until they show up in your reality. Remember all of the rules of the subconscious mind that we discussed. It takes commitment and dedication to push through that resistance and create those new beliefs that are required for you to manifest your ideal reality. Your subconscious mind is going to resist your efforts. It's going to try to return to what is familiar. So that's why you have to push through that resistance in order for you to see results. So now that you have an understanding of how the manifestation process works, let's shift gears a little bit and talk about the five mistakes that people make when manifesting a specific person. Mistake number one is not understanding how the subconscious mind works. As we discussed, your beliefs are stored in your subconscious mind. That's why you have to learn how to communicate and work with your subconscious mind in order to create those new beliefs that are required to manifest your person back. Now, the problem is not everyone knows this. 
So many manifestation gurus and teachers out there just focus on talking about the laws, the universe, and all of that mystical stuff. And while all those concepts are helpful, the thing that made the biggest difference in my clients' results is understanding how the subconscious mind works. Because when you know how to work with the subconscious mind, that's when you can go in and actually reprogram your subconscious mind with the new beliefs that are necessary and required for you to manifest your ideal reality. Remember the diagram that I showed you. You have to create those new beliefs in order to create that new reality. There's no other way. Mistake number two is using affirmations that are not right for you. If you follow any manifestation teachers on YouTube, you probably know that affirmations are one of the most important techniques when manifesting. In fact, some teachers claim that affirmations are the only technique you need to manifest your ideal reality. And I agree with that. But here's a problem though. You have to use affirmations that are right for you. You can't just use, you know, generic affirmations that you find in a video or affirmations that you find on Google. Those are not going to work. The reason why is that everyone has different circumstances and everyone has different situations. So what works for someone may not work for you and vice versa. In order for affirmations to work, you have to create affirmations that work for your specific desires and needs and person. Because the truth is, everyone has their own definition of what an ideal relationship with their specific person looks like. So that's why you have to come up with your own affirmations, right? What does ideal relationship mean to you? Imagine that you woke up the next day and you realize that your manifestation was already done. What do you see? What do you have? What is your relationship like? How's your person treating you? How's your person behaving? How's your person communicating with you? These thoughts are what you should be affirming on a daily basis because the vision that you came up with just now, that is your soul's true desire. Mistake number three is neglecting your self-concept. When it comes to manifesting a specific person, people are so focused on the relationship and the person that they often forget and neglect their self-concept. Your self-concept simply means what you believe to be true about yourself. Neglecting your self-concept can actually block you from manifesting your specific person because the subconscious mind cannot hold conflicting beliefs. They cancel each other out. No matter how many times you affirm, I have a loving relationship with my person, if you have a poor self-concept, a poor belief like I'm not good enough, then you never manifest your person back because those beliefs cancel each other out. In order for you to manifest your desire, you have to become the version of you who knows that your manifestation is already done. The version of you who knows that you are the creator of your own reality. The version of you who knows that you are absolutely worthy and deserving of all that you desire, including your specific person. Mistake number four is not working on your limiting beliefs. Because at the end of the day, if it all came down to beliefs, then why can't everyone manifest their desires? Well, the number one reason why people can't manifest is because of limiting beliefs. Both positive beliefs and limiting beliefs gets reflected in your reality. That's why it's so important to identify all of the limiting beliefs that are blocking you. Limiting beliefs are habitual thinking patterns that block you from believing you can manifest what you want. And just to give you a few examples, limiting beliefs may look like, you know, I'm not good enough, or I can't handle a real relationship, or I think that my specific person doesn't like me anymore. These are all examples of limiting beliefs that can block you from manifesting what you want. And limiting beliefs block you from manifesting because, as we discussed, the subconscious mind cannot hold conflicting beliefs. And that's why someone can affirm, you know, I have a loving relationship with my specific person and not manifest because if they have a very limiting belief like relationships never work out for me, then that relationship is never going to come. So that's why when you're manifesting, you have to get honest with your limiting beliefs. You have to get honest and look within and find out all of the reasons that you're giving yourself that block you from believing you can manifest your person and then start replacing them with new beliefs. Beliefs that actually serve you. Beliefs that are in alignment with the version of you who is already 
with your specific person. Mistake number five is not feeling your manifestation as already done. And this mistake is a big one. Here's where a lot of people go wrong with manifesting. There's a common misconception that manifesting is asking the universe to give you what you want. And that's not true at all. You see, manifesting is not about praying and wishing and hoping that your manifestation will come. It's about believing and knowing with every cell in your body that your manifestation is already done, that it is inevitable, that it is coming towards you no matter what. This knowing, this frequency, the state of knowing that your manifestation is already done is called the state of the wish fulfilled. Getting into this state is the most important step of the manifestation process. Words, affirmations, techniques, and rituals don't mean a thing unless you get into this state of deep knowing. When you live and breathe in this state, you become unshakable. You stand firm in the knowing that your manifestation is already done, no matter what your current circumstances look like. You know deep down that circumstances do not and will not matter and that your manifestation is coming towards you no matter what. You feel calm and grounded knowing that everything that is happening is unfolding for your highest good. And the more you stay in this state of the wish fulfilled, the faster your manifestation comes to you. Feeling the state of the wish fulfilled reprograms your subconscious mind to accept that your manifestation is already done. And when you believe it is done, so it shall be. Now at this point, if you are guilty of making one or all of the mistakes that we went through and you want to fix them, I have just the solution for you. Let me introduce you to my online course, Manifest Your Specific Person in 28 Days. In this online course, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know in order to manifest your specific person back in 28 days. This course will give you the tools to address the five mistakes that we went through, plus all of the information and exercises and routines that you need to know in order to manifest your person back and keep them for good. And the best thing about this course is it's not your traditional online course where I teach and you listen. It's a transformation. It comes with a guarantee that by the end of the course, you're going to end up with a personalized manifestation routine that will help you manifest your specific person back. All that you have to do is to commit to that routine for 28 days in order to see results. If you follow my content on social media, then you probably know that I like to keep things really simple. So I teach things in a really straightforward way in this course. You do not need to know anything about manifesting, the law of attraction, the law of assumption before you get started. I will walk you through all of the pieces of information that you need to know in order for you to manifest your ideal reality. For the past few years, I've been using this 28-day system with my coaching clients and I've received hundreds of emails and success stories from my clients. So let me just share a few with you so you can know that it is possible to manifest your person back. Kenneth, it's been seven days since I started my manifestation routine and I'm already seeing changes in how my SP, my specific person, is behaving. He used to always leave me on red but now he always replies back to my messages. And he seems genuinely interested in my life. Oh my God, I can't believe this happened so quickly. I can't wait to see where this goes. Here's another sweet message from one of my students. She said, I took your specific person course and at first I felt like nothing was happening. But then a few days into the 28 day challenge, things began to shift. Out of the blue, I got a text from my specific person asking me how I was doing. At this point, we've been in no contact for three months, so I was literally shook when he texted me. We talked for hours that day and we have been speaking every day since. This shit works. I'm going to tell all my girlfriends about it. She's funny. Here's another success story. OMG, this process works. My SP is now a totally different person. He used to be so hot and cold, but now he is super consistent in the way that he treats me. He is slowly morphing into the man I've always wanted him to be, and I love it. 
Here's one of my students who wanted to manifest a new specific person. She said, this course helped me find my self-worth and raise my level of tolerance for the men I choose. A few weeks after my 28 day practice, I attracted this man into my life who is the complete opposite of the toxic men I used to date. I think I finally found the one. And here's another success story. Thank you, Kenneth, for helping me manifest my specific person back. I tried so many techniques on YouTube, but none of them worked until I came across your methods. I'm now redoing the 28 day challenge to manifest a marriage proposal from him. Look out for a wedding invitations soon. Your specific person is so available to you. No matter what your circumstances are, no matter what happened in the past, no matter how little you know about manifestation, this course will work for you. And I promise you, you will see results as long as you remain open and committed to the process. So if you want to manifest your specific person back, then all you have to do is to click that enroll button to join the course right now. The course comes with six lessons on how to manifest your person back, a PDF workbook, a powerful subconscious rewiring meditation, and a 28 day manifestation challenge that you will use to manifest your specific person back. So let's talk a little bit about what you'll be learning inside the course. So the first lesson is manifesting 101. And this lesson is where you learn the fundamentals of manifesting and learn how to work with your subconscious mind in order to manifest your person back. The second lesson is anchoring in your new reality. This is where I help you create that vision of your ideal relationship with your specific person and help you anchor in the beliefs that are necessary and required in order for you to manifest that reality. The third lesson is all about becoming your ideal self. This is where I'll help you banish your negative self-concept and help you become the more powerful, more incredible, more accelerated version of you. The version of you who has already received your manifestation. The version of you who is calm and collected, knowing that your manifestation is already done. The fourth lesson is all about overcoming your limiting beliefs. This is where you get to be real and honest about your limiting beliefs so that you can identify them and get rid of them. I'll give you practical tools that you can use throughout your day to challenge and replace your limiting beliefs so that you can unblock all of the resistance that are standing in the way of your manifestation of your specific person. The fifth lesson is my personal favorite. It is where you get to not only learn about but experience how it feels like to get into the state of the wish fulfilled. I'm going to guide you through a subconscious rewiring meditation that will help you get into the state of the wish fulfilled, the state of knowing that your manifestation is already done. All you have to do is to listen to the guidance of my voice and enter into this state. And the more you dwell in this state, the faster your manifestation is going to show up in your reality. And the final lesson is where you learn how to accelerate the manifestation process so that you can receive your specific person even faster. I'll teach you a process that will help you build even more momentum towards your manifestation so that you can manifest your specific person sooner than you even expect. My private coaching clients have had tremendous success manifesting their person back. But private coaching is really expensive and it's out of reach for most people. So that's why I've decided to condense all of the essential components from my private coaching program, which would normally cost thousands of dollars, into this one affordable online course. That way you can get all of the benefits of coaching in one affordable package. So here's the important question. How much does it cost? The cost to join this online course is $399. But as I mentioned at the beginning of this training, I got an amazing special offer for you. If you buy the course within the next 48 hours, you can take an additional $200 off the course, which means that you can join the course for only $199. Now I do have to warn you that this is a time limited offer. What that means is that once that 48 hour is up, it's going to go back to the original price. So make sure to take advantage of this special pricing as soon as you can. Once you join the course, you're going to get lifetime access to the course and all of the course materials, which you can use to get started right away. And remember, 
your specific person is already yours. So go ahead and manifest them back today. I can't wait to see you inside the course and hear your success story.